everybody, it's Mom Behaving Badly, aka Jen, and I'm here because I'm on this wonderful beach backdrop. <laughs> uh, ooh, I'm steaming up my glasses. I'm getting a little fed up with the cold weather, and I decided that, um, yeah, that I would just try to, oop, sorry, got my nose hanging out here. Anyway, I thought I would try to manifest some good summer energy and some warm weather energy, so. I uh, got this cute little mask and this hat I bought off Amazon not that long ago. Really, really cute. I know it's a little mangled. It sort of came mangled in the mail. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to steam it or what. If anyone knows how to fix these hats, please let me know in the comments because I really have no idea. Uh, and I don't want to risk damaging it. So suggestions and or solid advice are most definitely welcome. And of course, my shades. So one thing you'll notice today is that I am going kind of natural. No makeup, nothing done in my hair. I don't usually do a whole lot with my hair to begin with, but you'll notice that I'm all natural. That's because today I want to review some products by Foreo. If you don't already know, Foreo is a great Swedish company. They make cosmetic uh, sort of high-tech devices. So you may have seen some of these before. The UFO, uh, this is actually the UFO 2. They have the UFO Mini. Um, this is the... Um, Ferrero, what's it called? Luna Fofo. So it's got the little um, silicone things and these two little dots here, which are fantastic. And one of my favorites is the Foreo Iris Eye Massager. So yeah, we're going to talk about that. Anyway, so it's one of my favorite companies. Um, they're a little pricey, but are they worth the hype? Is it uh, something that's worth investing in? Let's find out. So first off, I want to talk about this great little cleansing device. Now I'm sure you've seen a lot of these little silicone uh, face cleansing. Some people even have them, like different ones for your makeup brushes and stuff. And it, uh, it, it basically just vibrates. So if you push the button on in the back, uh, you can, I don't know if you can hear that, but it vibrates different paces, so on and so forth. And yeah, it's got a little pulsing and uh, they're made of silicone. Uh, I believe it's medical grade silicone, so you don't have to worry about bacteria or anything like that. Hang on, I'm just going to shut this off. And, um, yeah, it's, it's kind of neat. You just sort of go in, but is that worth the money? Well, by itself, a little vibrating, cleansing, silicone thing, um, there's tons of those on the market. But what I really like about this are these two little dots in the back. So these are made of gold. And when you get Foreo products, you can download the app. And so I'm just going to do that right now on my phone. And what's really neat about this is that these two little dots in the back analyze your skin care. So let's go measure your skin. Press and hold the button on your Foreo device. Yep, yeah, done. Oh, you have to hold the button. Okay. So then it's Bluetooth enabled, takes a couple of seconds. And then you put this on your skin for 10 seconds. At which point it measures your moisture level and the recommended routine, which is kind of cool. So my skin moisture level is, I don't know if you can see that, very dry. And it will customize what you need. So I think that's kind of cool. Um, and that definitely, I think, is worth the money if you're uncertain of your skin type or if your products have been doing an improvement. So it's kind of a good way to measure a baseline and then, and then sort of check to see if they're, you know, you're getting the results that you want. My second favorite, um, well, it's not really all my, my, they're all my favorites. I like them all, but, uh, this one. So this is the, uh, Foreo UFO 2. And they come with, well, you they don't come with, they come with a couple of these little masks, but you can buy individual masks. So this one I just tried last night, it's called Youth Junkie. Um, very fitting name. <laughs> Intensive Renewal Collagen Infused. So these are really great. And then this one is called Make My Day. So I wanted to try this one. So once again, you click on it, you go to Treatments, you connect. So there's the on button, connect with Bluetooth. If I can get this. <laughs> Oh, there it is, lighting up. Oh, so it's already going, which it shouldn't be, but that's okay. 
can hear it vibrating on the table. So what's neat is it also has these LED lights. And the beauty of the LED lights is that um, that's also kind of a skin treatment in and of itself. So you get these little packages, right? And the older ones, you had to sort of scan the little barcode to determine what you were doing. Um, the app has changed since. Woo! And it heats up too, so it's kind of neat. So you're looking at this little sheet mask and you're probably thinking, what the heck? So they come out, they're pretty slimy. They've got quite a bit of the, um, the product on it. I'm just gonna wipe some of that off there. And you're gonna put the ring back on like that. So then I'm gonna hit the start button. So it actually gives you these really nice soothing the place with the Foro logo facing oh, Foro. Okay. So here we go. And click to download. Start. Use a circular motion as you gently glide UFO across your face and neck. It's locked into skin, while the green LED helps reveal a brighter, more even skin tone for an all-day glow. Your smart mask treatment is now complete. If you'd like, you can repeat the treatment. Otherwise, dispose of the UFO activated mask and rinse your device under running water. And that's it. It's really simple. Uh, it took a minute and 30 seconds. So for those of you that, and I just, I just usually leave it on at this point because it'll absorb into the skin. You've got the LED light treatment, which is amazing. There's a lot of new companies uh, jumping on that bandwagon because there's really great results and the different colors of LED light um, have different uh, different effects. You've got the heat and the vibration and the cooling effects and you've actually got the the mask itself. So um, the thing I like about this is I love face masks. I'd love to do them more often but I'm really pressed for time. So just you know if you can spend 90 seconds or two minutes and this, you know you brush your teeth in two minutes you can just sort of do this. It looks a little weird sort of rubbing it. It feels a little weird but um, it's definitely, definitely worth the money and you can get all different types of masks. Uh, these are the only two I have. I have uh, Manuka Honey, I have um, Bulgarian Rose, I have a whole bunch of different types. So it's, uh, it's a great company, uh, it's a great product. Definitely, definitely think that is worth the money if you enjoy the benefits of a face mask. Last but not least, this little guy. Now I have to admit, when I first got this, and this is the, um, the Foreo, or for, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, the Iris Eye Massager. Yeah. This looks like something I saw at a bachelorette party once. I mean, I just, I, I was looking at this, and, and they're made of silicone on top of it, so I was like, you've got to be kidding me. There's even a plus and a minus sign to reduce the speed, and I'm like, market research people, really? 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 Okay. Um, but enough of that. So what you want to do is you want to get your eye products. So I usually use two in the day. I use the Ordinary, the uh, Caffeine Solution 5% EGCG, and that's good for, uh, you know, sort of eye contour, pigmentation, and puffiness. My eyes aren't too puffy today. My other favorite is the Ole Henriksen, hope I pronounced that right, Banana Bright Eye Cream. So it's vitamin C and collagen boosted. This is fantastic for dark circles. And what you're going to do is you're going to take, so we're going to go to, yeah, so it just shows you how to use and device care. I don't know if you can see that too well. This you don't really need to link up with Bluetooth. So when I do eye cream, I only take a tiny, tiny amount and just sort of dab it. So, you know, something this size would last me a very long time. Most people, what they do is they put too much eye product on. So we're going to push start. Are you ready for this? Check that out. I don't know if you guys can see that. Am I the only 
only one who's kind of looking at this thinking, an eye massager. Great. <laughs> so I'm just going to tap this in. <laughs> it's vibrating too. And not only is it rocking back and forth like this, but it's also vibrating. So yeah, I'll just uh, stop that because that's just, that's getting a bit weird. I'll just, nope, it won't stop. Okay. So funny story. Um, once I was uh, at a very, very important meeting and I was uh, going back and forth between different cities. It was a really, really difficult time in my life and I had to pack just strange things, you know, like makeup and, and deodorant and um, like toothbrush and all different types of things because uh, I didn't know how long I'd be in another city and sometimes I just needed like extra clothes or toiletries and, and just you know, even freshen up. I didn't always have a place to sleep. Things were like a little crazy. So I'm in this super important meeting and uh, I dropped my briefcase and I had a, um, a, I had a lint brush, like an electric little lint remover in there along with all my other stuff. And the minute I dropped it, it hit, it just, it went on, I guess that one of the books or one of the files or something went up against it and it just started vibrating. And because it was on a hard floor and I'm in this meeting, all you hear is bzzz, coming out of my briefcase. And everybody just stops. Dead silent. And I'm sitting there like, okay, is there a hole I can crawl in and die right now? Because this, I don't even know, I, it, off the top of my head, I don't even know what it is. I'm not even thinking what it is. So I'm like, oh, for God's sake, just come up with an answer like, quickly, because this is just humiliating. And uh, then I remembered, oh wait, yeah, no, it's a lint brush, which, you know, um, didn't sound much better because it was an electric lint remover and lint brushes by themselves, I mean, obviously don't vibrate and they're all like, a lint brush, yeah. And I'm like, no, it's one of those vibrating ones, which clearly didn't make me sound any better. And they're like, right, vibrating lint brush. Hey man, like we're not here to kink shame, whatever. It was utterly humiliating. I, I had to take it out and show them that it was an electric, like, lint remover and they were like, oh, okay, okay, okay. Anyway, utter humiliation, but yeah. So we're going to turn this on. I like to wait until it's sunk in a little bit because it's at room temperature and you just sort of do this around the contour of the eye. Now, to be frankly honest with you, I don't know that this is worth it. I haven't used it often enough. I think a lot of that has to do with the design and the fact that this is kind of questionable in terms of design. Oh, there's a little pause in between so you know when to switch eyes. I did this side a little bit too short, yeah. And I just kind of feel like, I don't know, something about this just does not feel right. I feel like, I don't know, like this video is going to end up somewhere. Again, not to kink shame, but I mean, you keep, look at that. It's, it's just going. It's a little hard to take this thing seriously. And, um, yeah, I mean, I, I, it's a shame because it is a really good company and they do make excellent products. I just would like to know that, um, you know, when I'm using them, I mean, like, this thing just keeps going. Just keeps on going. I think it's about a minute per side or something like that. I don't know. I feel a little bit strange using these products. I gotta be honest with you. Uh, well, this one anyway. The other ones are great. I love them. Um, I, I didn't do a facial cleanse with this because, uh, you know, we're, we're a little short. I think you all know how to just kind of clean your face. But this thing, and you can, you can lower the speed, yeah, if you want, and you can increase the speed. I don't know what to say about this, to be frankly honest with you. It just, yeah. <laughs> so I'd love to hear your thoughts and comments on each of these. Um, remember, 
comment, like, subscribe, and I should have some new videos coming up soon. Hopefully I will get to change the tires on the car and a couple of other things. Thanks for watching. Hey everyone, so that video just kind of cut short. I think my battery died. But if you like the video, comment, like, and subscribe, and stay tuned because I have some new, pretty interesting, kind of out there videos coming up. Thanks again. Stay safe, everyone.